There's a new Azure Lane game? Okay, let's see it. Uh-huh. True. Yep。That's their average player for Azure Lane, right there. Wow. You can have mounts? So where's the gameplay? Yeah, where's the... I'm getting a little bit nervous. This is the gameplay? Yeah. Okay, oh, 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 here we go. We got gameplay. <laughs> you thought. Oh, you thought. Wow, I'm sold. And now we're going to see the gameplay. Okay, here we go. All right. This looks very nice. The world is is good. This is just looks just like Genshin Impact, Wuthering Waves, Project Mugen, uh, Tower of Fantasy. Um, there's another one. Oh, Ark Knights Enfield. Yep. Uh, I, the style is fine. Okay. You can kill- Okay, that's cool. You can cut down trees and attack them. What's this? Alright. Wow. Let's see- Kill that. There you go. Seems pretty good. That was pretty cool. I personally don't like having to see the anime uh, intros. Like, I, I wish that you could just, like, do the attack without having to go into a cutscene. I feel like the cutscene is super jarring. But, yeah. Okay. I think the reason why Genshin is really popular is because it's easy. And it's a lot slower, it feels like, than this. Like, I, I think that if you have a game that's like this, your audience is going to be mentally ill 12-year-old girls and also 35-year-old men. Both groups of people are not very good at video games. 
So, like, I don't know if this is, like, really the right option. Like, because Wuthering Waves, like, they had Project Grey Raven, which was their, their last game before that, that was, like, much more of, like, a Dark Souls, like, combat-heavy focus gotcha game. And I wonder if this game is going to be able to, like, because, like, how do you really hit that mainstream audience if you don't have, like, kind of easy combat? Somebody says I spent 4K on Azure Lane. I'm glad my money went to this. Yep, I can see why. Yeah. This looks pretty... Like, I mean... Here's the thing, right? Is like, if you've played any of these games, like, you already know what all this is. Like, I already know how to play this game. It's in Chinese, it doesn't matter. I know how to play it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. I think the characters are okay, but they're not really that cool or exciting. I think it's like if I were to put this on a scale of 1 to 10, I think they're like a 7. Yeah, like it's like a 7. It's a, it's a bit better than, um, you know, like some games. But like, for example, I think like there's some games like uh, I think the Hoyoverse games do this the best is they have the most iconic and best designed characters. And I feel like there is no other... Like, maybe Fate Grand Order kind of does a good job at it, too. But besides Hoyoverse, I feel like Hoyoverse is just so far ahead in terms of, like, conceptualization of characters that, you know, like, this is okay, but it's, like, not even close to that. Fate's F tier? Yeah, yeah. Nikkei? Nikkei, I mean, Nikkei is usually carried by, like, you know, the, the sex sexuality of it, right? I mean, like, the character models, I don't know if they're really that good. Personally, so this is like some sort of like secondary pet. Okay. What about Grand Blue Fantasy? I think that the characters are okay, but they're not great. Like I'd say the Grand Blue Fantasy characters are about the same level of quality as this. Like they're the only characters that I think are like really good for Grand Blue Fantasy are Gondon Goza. I think he's really cool. Lucilius is cool. Narmaya is good. Catalina? No, I don't think so. Zeta? Yeah, Zeta's good. Zeta's very good. I, that's a good point. Cagliostro? Maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like that's like a pretty common thing. But yeah, they're like, okay. I would say like the best Grand Blue Fantasy characters are better than the best ones of these. If that makes sense. I would say, like, the average is about the same, though. Okay, so it's clear, like, you have, like, these different pets that come around with you, and you use the different pets' elemental abilities to unlock the different types of, uh, special objects in the world. The game looks like it plays pretty well. I feel like we're kind of reaching a saturation point with these kinds of games, and the next game like this that's going to really pop off is either going to be something that just does everything in like a completely insanely good way, or it's going to be multiplayer online. Because I feel like that's one, that's like the element of this game, of these games that like hasn't really been mastered yet is like how to make a game like this that's an MMO that feels good to play. Because like, you, like guaranteed, like there's no way that like anybody that's playing this game hasn't at least watched one Isekai like MMO anime. Guaranteed. Okay, I guess that's her donator. 
就开始。哼，就行。别翻车，继续。哦，动，动，动，丢到我的。成功了。至少 ，right。趴下了，太快。球。Yes, all right. Who protocols an anime in my own, my opinion? 继续。Yeah, but it's bad. That's what the Japanese players say, at least. I'll try it and play it, but I've heard it was bad. Animations are like really kind of、uh, flashy. Okay, so what's in the chest? Okay, so we know exactly what this is. This is some sort of crafting material. This is probably some sort of spin material where you can spend money on it. This is probably an upgrade material for either your character or for your character's、uh, empowering device for the character.、Uh, yeah, we, we is the energy material. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Uh huh. Will be on the Honkai or Genshin end of the Gacha spectrum? I don't know. I mean, I guarantee you, there's going to be Gacha in this game. You just look at it, you know it's going to be a Gacha game. Well, that's kind of cool. What's this? Oh wow! What the hell? Oh, so are you like assigning the pig to mine? Wait, it's like Pow World. Oh my god. It's waifu world. Look at this. Damn. That's kind of cool. What's in the egg? Oh, so you get eggs? Maybe you have to incubate the eggs too. Has anybody ever done that before? Okay, gotcha with eggs. Yeah, apparently. So you can change the different person that's like with you. Yeah, this is nice. What do you guys think? It's all right. It looks boring. Okay. I mean, I like the open-world nature of it. That's really nice. This is great. I will say that, like, one thing that a lot of these games do badly that I think this game does well is like the color grading of the game is very good. It's one of the things that I criticize a lot of these other types of games for is that they don't have like very good color grading, but like this one does. This is probably one of the better examples. Seems relaxing, yeah. Looks like there's no energy on this either. Oh wow! Looks like you can go collect eggs. Okay. Another egg! Wow. We're gonna show any other combat. I want to see some like a boss fight or something like that. Oh wow! Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. This is pretty good. Yeah. All right. All right. Now we get to see some more content. Yeah, besides that one area. Yeah, this is okay. What's this? Is this a boss? This looks like a boss intro. Yeah, it is. That's what I thought. Okay. 
So that seems like, okay, it's a counter. So there's like a counter, like perfect block or perfect dodge system. That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have maybe an unpopular opinion, but for this genre, I wish you could turn off those uh, cutscenes. I think they're really annoying, and they're super like, uh, like, they're like very um, abrupt. You can? I like them. Yeah, I just wish it was like an option. I think if you want to have them on, it's fine. But like, to me, I don't like them. That's cool. I'm glad they're actually showing actual boss fights in combat. This is pretty good. Oh. All right. And now you have... Okay. Now we got the real game in here. This is the stuff for girls. Yep. So it is literally anime power world. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep, this looks extremely familiar. Well, it, it's not actually familiar because in power world, they would all have, um, it would say depressed over all of them and it would be like zero sanity and they'd have a sad face. And I'd be like, oh, looks like somebody isn't happy. Well, let's go re-educate them, and then I kill them. We're gonna go put- let's put this one into Blender. This is pretty nice. So it's like a monster collector anime type game. Yeah, I'll play this. I will. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I think this actually looks pretty decent. Um, like, it's- it's- so they have a couple of, like, nothing in this game is new. Like, let's get that out of the way. Nothing here is new. Um, you have a character swap system that probably the characters become empowered, and then you swap, and you have a swap bonus, and then you have ults for the characters that then go into an animation, and there's probably different types of damage that are effective towards different types of mobs. Uh, who's ever done this before? This is the, I think it's the first time anybody's ever thought of this. Um, open world content where you have to complete little, uh, you know, elemental based challenges to get different rewards, uh, exploration challenges that reward you for flying around and exploring the world. Um, there's obviously a character system. There are small bosses that you can benchmark yourself against as well. There are only a handful of different buttons also because these games are generally meant to be played on a smartphone or uh, at least it's possible if you want to. Uh, you know, the combo system is very common as well. Uh, the farm system, I think we've all seen games like this before. Uh, this is this is actually pretty decent, I would say. Uh, I don't really think that every game needs to reinvent the wheel. It doesn't need to do something totally different that nobody's ever thought of. But I would like to see kind of how the game plays, and if it plays well, then I'm happy. That's all there is to it. Cute game, yes? Yeah, it's nice. And uh, the odds are this game will be a free game, okay? It's a gotcha game, which means that it will cost a lot of money to play. You know the free-to-play games, those are the most expensive ones. So uh, I will definitely play this game. I, I, you know, I do like games like this. I think that the, the combat in these games is generally pretty good. And that's the only thing that I really care about. I also think that these games are really good to kind of play and chill out. And, and just like fucking, you know, turn off your brain and play these games. And that's probably one of the more positive... Uh, 
positive things that comes out of them. But the amount of flashiness on screen is, I think, kind of overwhelming. And I also think that the characters in the game are kind of uh, forgettable. And um, I'm not really sure how they can fix that, but that's generally what my opinion is. They're just chatting games? Yeah. Hate these anime gacha games? Well, I think that really, I mean, you probably just hate gacha games. I don't have enough money to play free-to-play. Azure Lane doesn't have pay-to-win, only buy skins and stuff. Really? Yeah, I'm not sure. None of these games did the Power World angle before, so that's new. Yeah, they are trying some new angles for the game, and so I just hope it's fun. I, I do. I, I, I hope it's fun. And, you know, I'll probably try this out, see what it's like, and go from there. I mean, fuck. It's really that simple. But yeah, the game seems actually pretty decent. I will be there. Yeah, a lot of people, most generous gacha game in the industry... I just, I, I actually hate whenever people say that certain gotchas are generous. It makes me so mad because, like, what the fuck do you mean it's generous? Like, you mean, like, you only have to pay $100 for it? What is this? It's a Reddit moment. Yeah, like, what are you doing? It's only skins. Yeah, if it's only skins, who cares? But, uh, yeah, I'll be curious to see kind of how this game evolves.